Hey YouTube, it's Rarity Ho, and I'm here with Jordan Bermudez that just uh, top aided the ARG Indy using Light Swore Shadals. And yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the deck profile and see what he was playing. All right, so I don't know if I'm gonna explain everything because whenever I explain, it's just me holding saying all over again. Uh, three beasts, it's the uh, best card. Whenever you want to extend the game to stay, uh, you just send beasts. It's mm -hmm. literally a uh, vocal source plays after uh, your opponent's soul charges. So in the set card, you know, tribute in a mirror match is like really good. You're just gonna win a lot because of that card. Yeah, hashtag card Robertson. Whenever you don't know what to do, just send beast. <laughs> uh, two dragon. Um, he's one of the better alone standalone cards. Uh, he basically deals with the fusions, Dante, um, Pop's back row. Um, uh, I don't really want to say about him. He's 19, and uh, so uh, he gets over every Teller and every Burning Abyss. So you just summon him, attack. They do something. You super poly their monsters. They go neg three. Uh, Next, next three of their plan Nutella because they can't actually counter, counter trap. Um, Skamada, um, he's probably my favorite because then at whatever he is, he's every doll in the deck. He's just a filler basically. Um, his effect's not that bad. Uh, in my top A match, I had to pop um, Leverett, Zachary Leverett's uh, Crimson Blader, which I did not was not playing for the event, but I made a lot of changes. But this is just the deck that I played. Um, one Falco, it's awful in the mirror match. You never want to draw it. Uh, everybody that's playing more than two, I don't know what you're doing. It's just, eh. Uh, one Hedgehog, I almost wish you didn't have to play this card, but you have to get away to the fusion, because without the fusion, you can't win, sorta. Yeah. And then, um, but he's actually really good in the mirror match. You send and you add Beast with off construct and you tribute summon him with Beast, and then you add a fusion back. So you're already uh, a, basically a, a card or two ahead of your opponent. I don't know. Me and, me and some, uh, me and my friends were talking. Parker, uh, we were saying that you should probably go second in the mirror match because, like, the odds of them opening it starts spark vanities. So with soul charges, like, out of this world, it's, like it's very hard to do that as it is. But if you go second in the mirror match, you get an extra far, so you want to see uh, other engines faster. Mm -hmm. um, three ride in, uh, hard and soul the deck. Probably the favorite card you want to see turn one. Um, tuner makes some savage ass uh, synchros or whatever. Um, two Lila. In my new build, I did a uh, downlist down to one and played some other secret cards, uh, you know, duels cards. He's just good for uh, bl uh, hitting vanities and then explode yeah, with soul sure. charge. Especially since people are starting to play bottomless again, uh, because, because uh, now the Hoban's deck like relies on soul charge and it's more of like a uh, normal summon deck. Like, I literally lost a local today uh, one, uh, in the mirror because I drew uh, three Rydens. And I had five normal summon monsters in hand, and that's basically four cards there for the turn. Uh, two Chaos Torx, just a boss monster. Uh, this deck has a really bad late game, and you don't want to, you know, not have anything to do when you run out of dolls, because it does run out very quickly. Uh, one BLS, uh, same reasoning basically, just better Chaos Torx. Um, I did down the sound to one, though. Um, yeah. Two Collapse, and uh, two White. Um, zoning pressure in the mirror match, and uh, against like every deck right now, like putting um, as much damage as you can uh, as possible, ending the game as quick as possible. Because this deck has like a really bad uh, grind game. You don't really want to like go into like time or anything, or just like sit there and run out of resources. So you just want to flat out kill them as soon as possible. Plus they're like really good floaters. If you synchro with this, they're just gonna keep coming. Or special summon tribute for beasts. You basically lost nothing. Uh, two up starts. This was like the only difference between mine and Helen's build. I. I did switch and play three and some other cards. Um, well, that one's not first set. <laughs> Fuck me. That's why you didn't uh, win. It's just a bit deeper. <laughs> uh, three Soul Charge. Um, best card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Needs to get banned. Uh, there's nothing much to say about that card. You literally just steal games with Soul Charge with or Spark Lake Game with uh, Vanities and Venus. Yeah, it's pretty busted. And I made a board today with Crimson Blader plus Star of Sparks at Vanities and Venus Pass. Yeah, I won that. Uh, Allure. <laughs> Um, draw power, really good card. Uh, charge. Um, this card is actually really good. I just hate the fact that they don't get their effects off cost, so it's like kind of gay. So like when you mill like multiple shit all, it actually it's not that good. I mean, it feels so charged up, but like when you mill shit all, it's just like it's taken away from your shade off fusion from deck. Yeah. Um, that's just for the one of spells. Uh, three super poly. This card needs to get banned. Uh, I literally got super poly twice in the mirror. Over the weekend and won. I don't know how I won, but I did. He messed up, I think, like three times, but he just punted. This card's really good. Yeah, that card. Uh, it, sets, it, gives, it sets Nutella and um, uh, 
Burning Abyss way too far back. Um, usually, I don't ever try to hit the Dante because then they just uh, they lose nothing off of it. I try to wait for them to like um, just go Tour Guide, and then you just super probably uh, the Tour Guide, and then uh, try to get rid of a. Uh, Scarm with like a uh, Abyss Dweller play next turn. Yeah. Or something, just something to get clear. Um, Goyo is actually really good against that card. You just steal it. Uh, probably the best card in the. Well, no, not the, definitely not the best card, but one of the best cards in the deck. It's just stay off fusion. You punish your opponent for being bad for fusioning and not and leaving the fusion or XYZ Synchro on board. Um, this was the difference. I played Compulse over the third upstart. Uh, Compulse is just so good right now. I literally. Every time I open up this card against a mirror match, I literally just won. Um, yeah, three bad. vanities. This card needs to get a hit, it's unfair. You just make it a Savage Board, Star, Spark, and, uh, or just Soul Charge to make it a big board that can't beat it. Uh, and two Sinister. No way, Fly. Uh, extra deck. Uh, three Construct. Uh, it's a card you use more, like, Wind is just there, I guess, but it's not like you, use, you always, like, make two to three of these every game. The card's just so good. And you, uh, putting a big ass monster against uh, Burning Abyss, they can't really deal with big monsters unless they have the Wing Blast, of course. Yeah, they're uh, on the outside back room. Yeah, uh, two Winda. Uh, you don't really make that card as much as this guy. Uh, Vocal Swords, you steal so many games with that card. Uh, Ring Force, two Castell. Some people were trying to play one on one, just like you can't do that. Like this card literally deals with Floodgates um, and uh, the Fusion. So if you like, they tackle over the, with a one on one, the goes to Graveyard to get their effect. Uh, this card that I don't play now, um, I could have made it against uh, Zachary Leverett top eight, but. Uh, he, he, he looked at my deck list and saw that I was playing Exton, so obviously he read the Exton play and stopped it. Um, but the cards were really good, but it's just... I had to cut it for Crimson later. Uh, one Abyss Dweller. Um, sometimes where I Abyss Dweller, um, Soul Charge, and then make an Arcanine Magician against the Mirror Mash and just blow up their two monsters so they don't trigger. Uh, Nightmare. Um, I actually only made this card once against an opposing Soul Charge, but it, I obviously won the game because of it. Uh, Spark, uh, too strong. Yeah, he's one of the most Scrap, best yes, synchros you have. Scrap, needs to be an ulti. Uh, my Bent Arcanine Magician, all right, I'm just gonna say, now, if you don't have a Bent Arcanine Magician, you cannot win the mirror match. <laughs> I told everybody that. Um, and level 6 Golio. And Golio actually put in a lot of work, believe it or not. No, I'm sure he did. Now, my side is actually kind of shitty. It was just something that was thrown, toge uh, thrown together for the event, but, um, two Maxis, uh, two DD Crow, uh, Maxi was good. I sided DD Crow against like two Burning Abyss players. I did it in top 16, and it, I mean, it was just once they have an established board, it just sucks. And then yeah. Maxi, it's like it's just a plus one against that deck. Uh, two Flying C. I won so many games just by letting Nutella overlay just so I can have Shade Off Fusion live in hand, and then they can't overlay. Or um, I would just hold it to where they have to make it in a, in a you know, like to make an aggressive play and then just drop it. So you like that card over Stygian? Oh yeah, Stygian's actually not that good. Um, because then they just, uh, uh, if you play against Burning Abyss, they just drop Gachi. Or if you play against Nutella, they just drop Zen Mains. So if they side it, if they're good. Yeah. Uh, one Raikou. Um, I actually don't play this card or the Ecro in my new build. Because I actually have time to make a side deck. But, I mean, it's not a bad card. It hits uh, Ophion. Um, Super probably hits that card too, though. Um, Floodgates. It's an, it's an average card. Yeah. Uh, my control is still the game from the mirror. Um, three yeah. MST for Floodgate. So I hardly, I usually never side the third one. I always side in two because I made it to Lila. Is it because uh, the third one's common? That's good. Uh, maybe. <laughs> that's actually probably true. There's like so many back row elimination. Uh, three rivalry for Rogue. Uh, middle Che. There's actually Middle Che in top 16. Uh, water, stuff like that. Uh, and then the one sentence for Shadow Games that I gave back to my BFF, McCall and J. Smith. And I got 250 star credit. This gay ARG mat with Alex Medina and um, Swag Dara right there. Um, the ring I got, and, uh, and that was it. Yeah, 250 star credit. Yeah, so play Crimson Blade. Pretty nice. Deck, just saying. And probably play it. That's it. All oh, right. shout out to PWG, my bad. Shout out to PWG. <laughs> yeah, PWG of course. The base. Yeah. All right, that was his top eight deck profile. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Spin it for me. Chance. And Spin it. peace out. Spin it. <laughs>